Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So Dragon Quest, your story is a CG anime based upon a very popular video game series back in 1992 called Dragon Quest on the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. Now, I myself never really played the Dragon Quest series. I did play the series way before that on the Nintendo Entertainment System. And if I remember correctly, that game was called Dragon Warrior and it was released by NX. And then later when NX and Square... Uh, were combined, I guess that's when they had the Dragon Quest series. So if you're not familiar with Square, they made the Final Fantasy series. And so the overall thing that I did like about this animation is first and foremost the actual animation itself. Now this is completely in CG except for some scenes which are in uh, retro uh, style, let's just say that. And I think overall considering the budget, it looked pretty good. You know, it kind of remind me a lot of uh, How to Train Your Dragon. I think that's the name of that animation by DreamWorks. And it wasn't quite at that level, but the overall look and everything, that's kind of what it reminded me of. So I think overall, the CG was done pretty well. And then the second thing I liked about this anime is if you did enjoy the video game series, um, I mean, you will get a lot of hints, nods, uh, you know, fan uh, fan service to people who did enjoy the Dragon Quest games. Now, um, I do know some of the characters, like the slime and stuff like that, and maybe some of the main characters. Uh, but overall, I think if you are a fan of it, then there's lots of fan service here, even some of the music as well. And so, those are like the main things that I like about this uh, CG animation. For the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap, where you can get a domain for an entire year for less than $10. Plus, get Who is Guard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So the things that I didn't like about it is, honestly, the story itself is kind of boring. You know, it's kind of one note. There really wasn't anything that made it memorable. And even though they tried to put a lot of different characters out there, it was primarily focused on Luca and Bianca and some other side characters that you see. But Honestly, it's really only about them and also Laja. And that's about it. I didn't really feel any attachment to any of the characters. And the story itself, it was just, you know, very predictable. You know, um, much like a video game, but even less so because you got more out of the game itself because the games are like really long RPGs. And so, yeah, that was the first thing. I just wasn't really interested in the story or even the characters. And then the second thing that I didn't really enjoy about this is... Uh, the overall lead up to the ending, you know, and uh, things like move really quick and you don't really have time to, you know, get to know any of the characters, the backstory. It just kind of like goes from one scene to the next. Like I said, very similar to video game, but uh, not in that depth. And then when you got to the ending, it was very anticlimactic, you know, um, even though there were some twists and turns, it wasn't anything that just really saved the whole movie. And so those are my thoughts on Dragon Quest, your story. Um, I think if you are a fan of the games, you might enjoy this or maybe you will enjoy it a lot. But at least for me, for somebody who's not really a fan of the games, and even if I was, I just don't think the story and characters was just strong enough to really keep you interested. Now, maybe if you're like a younger, uh, maybe you will enjoy it more. Now, if you did see Dragon Quest, your story, let me know some of your thoughts. And if there's any other animation or anime that you've seen that you've enjoyed, be sure to leave that in the comments area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me, and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group, where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.